pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Psalm 122, 6. We're living in the last days, my friend. And there's a lot, even as we speak, as I speak right now, there's a lot going on. The United Nations here in America is being held in New York. And the Palestinians want to have uh, a state and a map. I understand they made a map, but Israel wasn't on it. It was all Palestine. No Israel. You see, we are to pray brothers and sisters, for the peace of Jerusalem. And, I, and the other day I, under, I came across a footnote that the understanding, which enlarged my understanding, is praying for the peace of Jerusalem is praying for the fulfillment, the completion of God's plan and His purpose, bringing everything to completion. So when we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, we are also praying, yes, Lord Jesus, come. And bring everything to the fulfillment, the saving of God's people. Remember in the end, and all Israel will be saved in the end. Everything. I mean, actually when we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, there will be war, but there will be peace. So we're not praying just for a, a, a state of peace to go on. No, to get to the state of peace that we're praying for here is the fulfillment of God's holy plan for his chosen people. Okay? These are the, this is the, uh, you know, remember he said, I am the vine and these are the branches. This is a branch that is natural to the, bron uh, to the uh, vine of, uh, of God, all right, the Jews, okay? So, and we are grafted on, right? And so we are to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I mean, there is so much going on, right? You know, I don't have to go over all of it, right? Look at what the, uh, is going on in the Middle East and how uh, the people are raging against uh, the Jewish nation. Look at how the United States is struggling. Are we going to support Israel or not? We need to support Israel. Okay? We must support Israel. We should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We should support our brothers and sisters. We should support Israel, okay? And I know there's a lot of people in Israel that are not saved, but that they would be saved and that there would be completion and all this war and this uh, its madness. I mean, it's just that the people want to destroy the things of God. They want to destroy his people. And so we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And um, this is not hate. This is not hate. It is God's completion and His fulfillment. I'm not saying anything that's not in the Word over here. I, my understanding, when I say I pray for the peace of Jerusalem, I'm praying for the completion of God's plan, for Jesus Christ to return, for His, his the, the Jewish people to be saved. I'm praying for this. I'm praying that His will be done. And that is God's will. It's in His Word. So, with all that's going on, brothers and sisters, please turn your hearts to God and also to His nation, the people of Israel. And even though there's rebellion over there, we are to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We are to pray. We are to love them. We are to love them. And so, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray that God's will be done. Pray that, uh, that the culmination of things would come and that there would be peace in that land, but not the kind of peace that we're talking about in a worldly way, but that eternal peace, that peace that comes. It's going to have to come through the Armageddon. It's going to have to come through all of the things that are prophesied in the Bible, but that it would be peace. This is not just a human peace. There's a lot of exciting things ahead. And as we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, we must understand that prayer also is war. But peace coming from the war. But this is a war of God's that's already been won in the heavenlies. It's already been won when Jesus came and completed the work. So, I encourage you, brothers and sisters, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. God bless you.